The White House expected to unveil a new way to tighten the U.S. immigration system. This is after President Biden has faced intense pressure to take action on border security. Chris Sadegi is joining us from the newsroom with a lot more on those changes. And Chris, we know this has been a hot topic here in Texas. Yes, Dia, we've reported a lot about it. Texas leaders want the federal government to do more at the border. And today, the Biden administration is set to reveal new policies on the asylum process that would disqualify more migrants from entering the country. The proposed rule would allow immigration officials to bar migrants from asylum within days, if not hours, of them illegally crossing the border. Right now, the process can take years. It would target people who are considered national security risk and could put more migrants in fast-tracked deportation. Critics say this could lead to some migrants being wrongfully deported and denies them the chance to get the legal representation that could help them. This all comes at a time when Republicans have been tying illegal immigration to crime spikes. Now, the federal government and the state of Texas have butted heads over the border this morning. We're waiting to see what comment Governor Abbott might have about this change. Mark, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you for that update this morning. Meanwhile, a whirlwind of court orders to see what judges decide to do with the state of Texas's controversial immigration law. Senate Bill 4 gives law enforcement the power to arrest someone that they merely suspect of having crossed the border illegally. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says that law is necessary to crack down on border crossings. The federal government says it's an overstep. That law is on hold for now, pending the appeals court ruling.